For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. When Jesus came into this world, it was an act of humility beyond comparison. The creator of the universe humbled himself to dwell among the created. The one whom the heaven of heavens cannot contain had nowhere to lay his head. The king of glory made himself of no reputation. The mighty God who subdues the nations came gently into a sinful world.
He came down from heaven. He came from God. He came in his Father's name. He came a light. He came to dwell among us. He came to set captives free. He came to give sight to the blind. He came to heal the sick. He came to give life, abundant life. He came to call sinners. He came for me. And humbly left your throne to reach someone like me. If you had not walked upon this broken ground, where on earth would I be now? If you had not sick and lame, to set the captive free, to break the prisoner's chains, I'd still be in the dark, searching for the door, longing for some way, somehow, but love came for me. Love rescued me, love called my name, love took my place, sweet Lamb of God. I'm bowing down, my eyes have seen, I'm finally free, love came for me.
love came for me. Christ came for me, but not for me alone, not for a select few. Scripture tells us that Jesus' death on the cross was sufficient to pay for the sin of every person in the world. God's love is broad enough to extend to every person everywhere, and His love is deep enough for His only Son to walk the path from heaven's splendor through Bethlehem's manger to finally suffer on Calvary's cross. It was there that he laid down his life to free us from the penalty of our sin. That is not just love, it is redeeming love for every person, everywhere. God's heaven to a manger, from great riches to the poor, came the Son of God to seek and save. From the azure Shall not 
love here. 